Hello there, it's uh, a, an example of a book here that I wanted to show you um, from an exam uh, project uh, about three years ago. And this particular student was uh, looking at everyday life as Sophie's um, sketchbook. Sophie was doing A-level photography, A-level um, fine art and um, A-level graphics. So imagine what her coursework deadlines were like. Um, but she got no star did, uh, and produced some amazing work. Um, so this is everyday life um, challenging the ordinary, looking at what the everyday uh, potentially is. So we, we, we start off um, visually straight away looking at what everyday life could be, be seen as, so shopping, um, or just, just a person in general, human beings. So she starts to look at artists, quickly moves into this, once she's sort of thought about and tried out a few different ideas. So dad who stars heavily, um, and then just sort of the figure, in, in sort of sensitive, sensitively done in, in, in different environments. Becky was a graphics student as well, so she um, she did use some of these skills, uh, so and photography. So she used a, 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 a digital manipulation. She did um, the odd uh, manipulation of, of pieces where she uh, would lay and use Photoshop, use um, drawing tablets. Um, I feature here. She's used the electronic line uh, drawing technique here to then layer print onto different surfaces. Um, and you could overlay on Photoshop equally um, just as well. But she works into it a fair bit as well, so you can see where she's got this figure and she's got some of the background coming through. Um, the artist Connor Harrington, you'll see, does this a great deal. You can sort of see how um, areas of the background show through in his work. And that's what she's trying to create. So you can see here. She's uh, tried out working um, expressively, so she's got like a um, quite a gestural piece to reflect Connor Harrington, um, and she's uh, tried layering in a similar way using images of me. Uh, and then she's created a couple of outbook pieces. So she's got this abstract piece here on the right um, that she's that she's tried um, to develop, but she's also then taken that stage further and then uh, painted me, sadly. Um, Onto, onto a sort of a similar background, but she's worked on the ground. Now, when you work on the ground, it often creates a greater richness of tone and color when you apply the paint. Sometimes in Connor Harrington's work, you'll see that you, you'll create a, a, a quite an expressive background and then you work on top of it, layer on top of it, and this often helps you. Um, so next uh, part of the project, she's looking at uh, Benjamin Cohen, and she's uh, again sort of it's quite a similar artist in some ways, but she's looking at application of paint and facial features. She's done a digital piece here. Let's see how she's developed that. So people within a natural state, she's looking at uh, negative space. She's looking a little bit at abstraction and layering. Then she's looked back at all of her work at this point. And decided this is where she's going to take it further, further forward. She's looking at digital work, she's looking at um, collage and layering, painting, she's done pre drawing, gestural sorts of work here as well. Again, she's gone off, uh, collected images of her dad in, in various sorts of everyday um, scenes. She's linked her primary research, so this um, taking the photographs um, to Connor Harrington. You can see as well, she's lit it really well. Look at the the lighting that you've got here, the emphasis of lighting in certain areas, it's a good sort of contrast. It's going to help her sort of later on in these later stages when you've got a decent amount of tone and she can edit even and, and exaggerate that she's done there as well. So you can see as she's moving on, she's looking at sort of movement of the figure and then finally she's settled on um, these images finally here. Um, so she's come up with two different things that she wanted to do, you know, the, the trying out sort of movement of the figure and the concept of Connor Harrington sort of way, and she's come back to more of the, um, the sort of the Benjamin Cohen portrait uh, piece that she's got here, and this is what she did for her 15 hours. So that was that was her exam book, um, and that was that was Sophie's um, exam project, and uh, that final piece was approximately a meter by 60 centimeters. Uh, she sold it. Um, in the end, and, and uh, yeah, did really well. So that's that's an example of a, a, an A star um, book, um, and I'll, I'll add.